us to just be friends. I'm so sorry, Diamond. Oh, and geez, Diamond is not taking this breakup well. Oh, you're actually playing in a full-on tournament. Oh, that's so cool. Hello, my little peaches. Welcome back to another episode of our Not So Very Challenge. We are with Briar, who is our ninth, is she? Eighth. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to check. Let's just whip open the family tree real quickly because we've got Briar, we've got Robin, who is still alive. Oh my gosh, thank God. We've got Coral, we've got Clem, we've got Lila, we've got Ash, we've got Saffron, we've got Scala, and we've got Minzy. Oh my gosh, my family tree. Oh my gosh, no wonder my game takes 17,000 and a half years to load in. Look at the family tree right now. This is how the whole human population grows as much as it does. You create a lot of sims. You really do from just one sim. Okay, so this is incredibly impressive. I can't actually believe how far and long Minzy's kind of uh, genetic heritage has now gone. Because she had four kids, so instantly it was like... And yeah, there's an awful lot of us now. There's an awful lot of berry descendants. They're not all cold berries anymore. We've got land grubs. We've got Akiyamas. We've got the moors over here as well. We've got chens. We've got tankanas, mumbaks, chopras, famonas, milners, hasegawas. We've basically got so many surnames in the family there. And honestly, I'm probably like two generations ahead, but genuinely everyone's kind of going, Akinos. No way. Everyone is kind of going for as many generations as they can, really. But we are on gen one, two, three. Oh my gosh, it actually gets quite hard to follow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a nine. And oh my gosh, Forrest is actually like, I'm on Gen 10. Bring it, I'm on Gen 10 because we've got Aelin and we've got Catalina who are, he's toddlers. So he's actually a generation above us. Am I on Gen 9? Is that actually, oh my gosh, I can't believe that's actually happened. Wow. So yeah, you guys are always asking about the family tree. This is the biggest Sim family tree I think I've ever had. I know I've had the main series, but this is genuinely the biggest family tree I've ever had. So there we go. Enjoy. And right now, Lila is downstairs, still feeling very flirty from her date. Even though she does have the single and loving it lifestyle just because she was single for so long. And she's working on her video game that she's making. I kind of feel like she's making a superhero game at the moment. Or maybe she's making a date in sim based on the fact that she's feeling flirty. Maybe she's adding a dating element to her adventure game. Who knows? It sounds like a great game. But she, of course, went on a date with Diamond here. And I've been reading your comments. A lot of you guys don't ship them. You guys just don't really see it. You don't really love the idea of them together. I have a terrible habit of making my sims marry and have children with the first ever sim that they ever look at in a romantic way. It's because I get invested in the partners and then I'm like, oh, I want them to end up together. And also sims don't live very long. So if you invest like weeks of your sims life into one sim, that's a lot of time. So then if you switch to another sim, you're kind of like, okay, I am running out of time to have babies now. Kind of like real life class. So because of that, I tend to stick with my OG like romantic interest. But for Briar, I'm not saying that Diamond and Briar won't end up together forever, but I kind of all also agree. I think they have a lot in common. I know she lost some of her attraction to Diamond. She went from finding her very attractive. Oh, now she finds it unattractive. Wait, wasn't she basic last episode? And now she finds it unattractive? That wasn't the case last episode. What is going on right now? Yeah, basic looking. So I changed her appearance in cast. All I did basically was give her some new clothes and a haircut. And instantly Briar went from finding her really attractive to mm, you're kind of basic. Now she literally finds her unattractive. I've never had a sim flick attractiveness like so quickly. Raya is a very, very picky sim, but after dating Diamond for a little while and, you know, going on that date, they're officially like girlfriends. Now she doesn't find her attractive at all. So yeah, you guys were saying it felt a little bit forced and I kind of think Briar agrees because she's just not into her at all now. Something about her personality after the date, I guess it didn't feel that genuine. We were kind of trying very, very hard. They're not into each other anymore. So yeah. I think this episode, we could see a little bit of a breakdown of their relationship. Maybe we see another sim that we find more attractive. I don't know. She's also feeling, you know, a little bit like, hmm, will I have less time for myself? That was our worry at the end of last episode. So I've got her working on a video game. She's spending a bit of time by herself. She's still really enjoying listening to her electronic music. We do have the teammate eSports activity today. I don't actually have another class for four days, which is pretty amazing. And in terms of my clubs, I've definitely been neglecting the bot savants. They don't 
have a meeting for two days though. I do want to keep like making these bots though. So I may head into the student union today. I look at this. We're not flirty anymore at all. We're just really enjoying programming because let's face it, we're really freaking good at it. So for her aspiration, I do need her to maintain focus for two straight hours of video gaming, which I'm going to try and do if we do the esports meeting this evening because I do have to complete that at the same time. It is 2 a.m. now, but I kind of get the vibe from Briar that she'd stay up quite late programming. So I'm going to let her finish her computer game. We've got Jaden at home. He's just kind of upstairs staring into space. Bit odd there, Jaden. I wonder if her views of any other Sims have changed as well. Let's have a look at Violet. Violet, still not into, which is a shame because I'm not going to lie. I kind of shipped these guys together, but oh well. Jaden, very unattractive. Oh my gosh. She went from having a crush on him to now finding him very unattractive. Who do you fancy? Who do you fancy? I don't know how to get her in a relationship because I just genuinely don't think she's into that many people. What about poor Brandon? Yep, still ah. ugly. Still ugly in Briar's eyes. This could be difficult. I am just gonna let the game dictate and flow though. Like if we ever do see somebody, great. But if we don't, we'll probably look at alternate ways to continue our legacy. And the food that people keep bringing to the house, we've got flirty heart cookies made by Jaden. I still think he's uh, carried a bit of a torch for Briar, by the way. Um, and also hamburger cake, also made by Jade, and he's spoiling us. I'm going to put these in the fridge, but everyone's just bringing snacks. No one's actually cooking meals. Oh, video game complete. Okay, it's an adventure game with romance. I am now a one-star celebrity again, which is great because I lost that. So I am going to call it... It's like epic adventure romance. I'm going to call it adventure hearts. It's going to be an amazing game, okay? We are a one-star celebrity. And we are on 10,000 followers now, which is pretty amazing. So can I use any of these fame points to help me out a little bit? No, I need to get to the next level, I think. Oh, noticeable. Boom, let's do that one. Because I'm not making YouTube videos or anything, so I don't need that one. Boom. Okay, right. You finished your video game. Time to get your adventurous heart to bed, please. In fact, get your adventurous heart to the toilet and then get your adventurous heart to bed. We do have the option to woohoo with Diamond, but she literally doesn't find her attractive, so I'm not gonna do that. And I think we might have to have a bit of an apology chat with Diamond tomorrow, kind of being like, I thought we were into you, but we won. I'm so sorry. Do it face to face though. Don't do it via email, which I kind of feel like she would do. Okay, so she is in bed at 5 a.m. when everybody else in the world and the little Tweety Birds are just waking up, ready to start their day. So I'm going to keep an eye on the house, see who's here, see who's inviting people around. Violet is sleeping here and under her, Jaden is sleeping in the other bunk bed. Diamond does have that double bed, but we will not be making use of it. And little Brandon's having a slep in there as well. And since no one is making any nice meals, can... Can I even make a nice meal? You know, we did grow up with Robin and Robin likes cooking nice stuff. Oh, mind you, we've got these though. Okay, there's no need for us to cook anything yet. We can just shake these. And I need to have that awkward chat with Diamond. Is she home? Kind of dreading this. Is she downstairs? No, is she still sleeping? <gasps> no, where is she going? Okay, she's peeing. I'll wait till she comes downstairs and then it's better just to rip the plaster off the wound. Is that the phrase? The scab off the wound? I don't know. Why would you do that? That sounds awful. Oh, and all these vending machines have items stuck. That's why I can shake them all. But I am not going to be clicking on any of those because I don't want it to fall on my head. That would be freaking awful. Oh, okay. And Diamond's here and she's flirting. Oh, us to just be friends. I'm so sorry, Diamond. I just don't feel... It, I just don't feel it with us. I'm so sorry. In fact, right now, I don't really feel it with anyone, but hopefully she's going to take this okay. Okay. Oh, she's still flirting with us. I don't think she's really got the memo, but we've decided to cool off. For oh, okay. No, she's not. I would just give her some space. Literally just give her some space. Let's get you down here and I'm going to try and get you focused so that we can do this part of the computer whiz aspiration. Is there any focusing decor in this room? Oh, there is. Okay, right. Focus on your video games. And someone's mom is here as well. But I'm doing a video games tournament. It's like a Tekken tournament. And I'm in the focus mood. So fingers crossed this will knock this off and we can see what our next set of challenges are. And then, okay. Hey, Briar, let me join Oracles. What do you think? Who are you? Are you the person that's opposite me? Absolutely not. No, sorry. I have to accept invites to go places, but I don't just have to accept invites to like join clubs and stuff. I'm really wanting invites to go places though. I keep like looking out and I'm like, why is no one inviting me anywhere? I really want to go places. Oh, and geez, Diamond is not taking this breakup well. 
She's sleeping outside whilst also being absolute stink in her own filth. Yeah, this is this is not good for her. At least she's got chicken in her pocket. You can't, like, a bit of roast chicken in your pocket is always great. And instead, we're chit-chatting with Violet. She's come and, like, sat opposite us while we're doing our video gaming. I love Violet. I think she is so freaking adorable. But she's just not into her. I don't know what she's into at this point. I would like to at least form like a long friendship with Violet. We've not had that much time to talk to her. So I'm going to get these guys at least chit chat and then she can talk about her first kiss and then immediately feeling an intense feeling of an attraction after her first kiss. <gasps> and boom. Okay, so now for the next part of Computer Wiz, we have to become an adult. Boom, we've done that. Reach level three of the tech guru career. Now, what I'm hoping, and I don't know if I'm trying to heart like this might be too difficult but what i would like to do is not have a job just make money on the side and then get the opportunity you know when it's like we'd love to have you join this career path and the career path that i join is the tech guru path because for this generation i meant to get invited to join a big tech company because they catch me hacking but rather than turn me into the police they want me to work for them instead so i'm gonna let it go for a while and see if that opportunity arises if it does brilliant if not i might just have to join the tech guru career instead and then the other thing that i've got to do is make another video game or up so if my new up does well my new game sorry adventurous hearts then i'll make adventurous hearts too and is it safe to say briar likes video gaming i would hope so i would genuinely hope so and we got third place in a tournament not bad well done well done so oh i can complain about the date as well okay so we're kind of using violet as a bit of a soundboard like why are we not into them why was the date so bad i didn't enjoy the kiss like i don't know it just wasn't ideal and i'm kind of wondering what do i know about violet do i know any of her okay all i know that she is that she's a geek i'm wondering if i try and like learn a little bit more about her like if i learn some of her other traits using get to know whether that will knowing more about her changes whether she finds her attractive because it could just be that briar is not interested in looks as much as she's interested in a connection you know oh and as soon as i start talking to her diamonds come over to like fart on her oh well, that's very mature diamond why are you just farting on her i'm only talking to her oh okay briar has learned that violet dislikes island decor interesting but she finds her really fun to be around i hope you find me the same way too you have a really nice smile, Violet. I hope that you can smile more. Briar is so freaking sweet. She's got like this really like, you know, like grungy underground hacker vibe, but also she's a complete sweetheart. So we've also learned that Violet is cheerful. Has that changed her attractiveness? I don't know. Okay. It has not changed how attractive she finds her at all. I don't know what it is. I don't know what Briar's into. I kind of like that I don't know, but it's difficult because I just don't know. I'm going to click through every sim and see if she's ever unattractive. Unattractive. <laughs> Very unattractive. Maybe she's like a... Like her great, 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 great grandmother or whatever. And she's into aliens. You never know. I don't know when I'll get the opportunity to bump into an alien and find that one out. Unattractive. Very unattractive. Oh my gosh. Unattractive. Unattractive. These are her teammates. She's not into them either. Unattractive. I mean, that is a CC disaster right there. She's holding a pumpkin, so I kind of get that one. Anil, very unattractive. Also, Fester and Grudge. Also need to bump into you again so I can declare you my enemy. Unattractive. Unattractive. Oh my gosh. This is this this situation is dire. Yeah, we're not into anyone. That's fine. We'll be focusing more on the other areas of our life then. And I feel like, you know, we've got advice from Violet, which is why don't you just have like a big old party and use that to kind of help get over the date situation. So I think this evening, oh, hello, Lily. I think this evening we'll have a little party because it is Saturday and oh, I am meant to be at my esports thing. Oh, has she gone to it? Okay, she is going to her sim scuffle match. Wow, you just rode your whole bicycle outside the house. And you really want to show off your muscles to somebody. I did not expect you to cycle through the house like that, but fair play. Well done. Oh, and it's Saturday. Oh, you're actually playing in a full-on tournament. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, well done. When you get back, we'll celebrate. you got to win so that when you get back home, we can um, have a full party to celebrate winning your esports tournament. That's what we'll do. And oh my gosh, Jaden. I feel like Jaden is desperately trying to get us into him. Look, he's brought more flirty heart cookies. Jaden, bless you. You're so sweet. And this is the thing. This is why I do think she wants to find the right person. Because look, it was nice going on a date, even if it wasn't perfect. So she does like dating. She's just very, very picky. <gasps> Boom. Her team won. Ah, you freaking won. That's amazing. 
Kinga. This is your, one of your teammates. Do you guys want to come back to mine? We're going to have a party because we won. And I got a power sip swag. Ooh, what is that? Did I get some money for that as well? I kind of feel like I got some money out of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Loads of energy drinks. Actually, be quite good when we do late night hacks. So I kind of like that. Okay, so we're back home. And I think it's time to get a little party started. So we've got people coming around. And I need to increase my mixology skills. So I'm going to go ahead and make drinks for everyone so that I can boost my skill. Let me wait till people get here. And oh, nice. This this girl's bro already got the keg all going. Nice work. And she's got the juice pod. Who are you? I. And of course, she finds her attractive. Oh my gosh, I invited a heavily pregnant person. Please don't give birth at my party and kind of low-key steal my thunder. Thank you. It's all about me winning the esports tournament. Thanks. And wait a minute. Why am I making drinks up here? When the party's downstairs. Okay, boom. We got drinks for everyone. And then I kind of... I'm probably not going to have a full DJ set wherever I move next. So I think I should take advantage of the DJ set while I'm here and DJ this party, you know? Oh, Oh, I'm bad. Oh, I am bad. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm level three DJ though. It's only a five skill thing, right? I should sound better than this, surely. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. But people, come listen to me. Wait, where are you going? Don't go upstairs. Even the guy fixing the sign left. No, come listen to me, DJ. Oh, I just got some tips though. Okay, this could be a nice little side earner. Okay, I'm pretty bad at DJing. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm so charismatic that nobody seems to care. And we were meant to have a party to celebrate winning the tournament. And that's exactly what we're doing. Everyone is here dancing. Oh my gosh. Jaden, come closer to the DJ booth, I beg. Have you got a song request? I don't know. But we're all partying at 5 a.m. in the morning, which I think is good. And we're all drunk enough that I sound good, which is the main thing, because I sound god awful. Bless Jaden. I almost want to date him just because he's trying so hard, but I just don't find you attractive enough. I'm so sorry. Gosh, this sounds really bad. Really, really bad. Okay, people are leaving. We're not drunk enough for this god-awful music. You might be amazing at programming, but you have not inherited the musical side of your family, I'm afraid. Looks like Forrest got all of that skill. Speaking of Forrest, we need to go check out the twins, don't we? Oh, and we did finish all the keg juice, so, you know. At least we've got that going for us. <gasps> and it's the first day of summer. And we've partied until almost 7 a.m. in the morning. I think that is quite the achievement. You loved being the center of the tension. At least you had a good night, you know? And okay, gold medal earned. I feel like I've just sat in between these two who, despite the dirty plates, are flirting with each other pretty hard right now. I'm going to go ahead and head to bed. I've done my piece. I've DJed your whole party. I've given you an amazing space to dance in. You guys are still dancing away, but I'm going to go and head to bed because it's been a while since I've hacked anything. I kind of want to hack some stuff. I also want to see my baby toddler cousins. So wait, nieces and nephews, not cousins. So yeah, I'm going to head and do that tomorrow. Today, today because it's 8 a.m. in the morning. I also think this house is getting incredibly gross. So when I wake up, I am going to order like a cleaning service because I just genuinely think we need it here, don't we? All of these smelly uni students never putting anything away. Always bringing plates everywhere. Oh, no, you're putting things away. Fair play, I. You also started the keg, so I like you. Briya does not, though. She thinks you're ugly. And oh my gosh, I am literally the loser of my own party because these guys are still going. It's 11 a.m. How are you guys still going? I don't know. They all look so miserable as well. This is like, you know that plague in Europe where everyone like danced until they died? I feel like this is happening right now in my gaming house. Am I the only normal, healthy, well-adjusted adult here? Am I starting to get to the point where I'm sort of growing out even a little bit of uni? I'm gonna look on the bright side. We're gonna see our baby cousins today. I would like to get a bit of hacking done. I'm gonna go for a little, I was gonna say a morning jog. It's not a morning jog, it's an afternoon jog. Do a little bit of hacks, and then I'm gonna bring a pizza over to Forests. If you spent all night drinking keg juices, sweat it out. This is the best way, also the most painful, difficult way, but a good way to recover from a hangover. And yeah, I feel quite done with living here now. It's so loud and messy. I feel quite grateful to be like down here away from it all. This is her party zone. This is where the party is for her. She's hacking into, I think, land grab systems, even though we're literally related to them at this point, as we discovered earlier, just to try and get a little bit of extra cash because we did spend a bit of money on partying. And boom, successful hacks. 173 pounds. It's not exactly going to break the bank, is it? Oh, well. Right, let's go ahead and see Forrest. I'm going to bring... Where is he? Oh, I'm getting a call from Lily, though. Ugh. Wanda Glenn and I want to spend some casual friend time together. Okay, whatever. I thought she was going to invite me somewhere. No one ever invites me anywhere. I was going to bring Jaden with me, but I can't 
see him. So he must be out and about somewhere because him and Forrest are friends too, but it's fine. We'll just go on our own. <gasps> and here they are. They are little toddlers now. Little smelly toddlers, actually. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and see, see them up real quick. Okay, so as a reminder, this is Cheyan, who is Forrest's wife. I think they are now married. And then this is Aelin. Aelin Horace. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some beautiful browns. Have you got a skin overlay on? No. Wait, face. I don't know what I just took off. I'm gonna keep as they are, but I will just add like some skin details and whatnot. Just my usuals. Bit of goo goo overlay. A little blush. And I'll keep your hair color the same too. You are a charmer, which is gonna be so easy. That's a nice toddler to have, so... I'm happy for Forrest that he's got this little charmer. And I'm going to give her this cute little blue outfit. So here is Aelin. And then, wow, these are taking so long to load. We've also got Catalina, who is her sister. Oh, this is cute because she's got... So Catalina has her mum's hair colour, whereas Aelin has her dad's hair colour. So I will be able to give her, like, I think as well, this is like an Afro textured hair, which she's also got from Forrest. So I'll give her orange afro textured hair which is so similar to clem which i really like so what hair do i have that oh that's red okay amazing oh it's the first one i clicked and i actually really like it though this one just comes in black okay i think let's go for this one i think her eyes are gonna come off as soon as i release it into the world i'm just gonna warn you guys now because my toddlers really do not like to keep up their eyes catalina is a silly toddler and i'm gonna keep her in the little pink outfit she had in fact they're twins shall i give them matching outfits but different colors oh <gasps> so cute okay and let's give you some little pink shoesies and now you guys um oh that's a different color pink let's not go for a clash let's go purple there we go now you guys are little matchies. So we've got Catalina and we've also got Aelin who already yeeted off her eyes. Good job, Aelin. I can't see like Briar having children anytime soon. So I think it's really nice that I can like spend a bunch of time with my little nieces instead. Why did I think it was a boy and a girl? And wait, what is this cool outfit? Did I give you this? <gasps> I think I did. That looks so cute on you, Forrest. How are you doing? And even you've dressed in quite like a more relaxed outfit coming over here. This is all very homey, isn't it? Let's see how things are going inside. Is wifey home? Oh, yes, yeah, she is. She's in here. Just being like, two children are hard. I'm just going to sit in here with my bubble gum and try and break my own neck. I don't know what she's doing. But it's fine. Auntie Briar is here to talk to the children about video games and bringing down capitalism through hacking. So that's all good. And it's so nice here. I'm glad I decided to finally rock out of bed at 2 p.m. so that I could at least enjoy nice times over here. Oh, and look how cute this is. This is the thing. She does have this cool, like, edgy side to her. She's still listening to music while she's talking to a toddler. I think she is. But she also, as like a lot of the berries do, just has this very sweet, loving side to her as well. I think um, Ash, I told you she'd eat the eyes, by the way. Ash's generation really, like, hammered home the importance of, like, the next generation and, like, spending a bunch of time with family and... I feel like it's really stuck in the family ever since then. So that's so cute. And it's kind of sad because I feel like, you know, by the time Briar has children, these guys will be so much older. You'll be like her big cousins that come and like hang out and like seem really cool to Briar's kids. Although it would have been cute if there'd have been loads of toddlers at the same time as each other, wouldn't it? And I'm so glad I don't have my esports meeting this evening because instead I can just spend time with the farms. Forrest is cooking some mac and cheese. It's just all real nice. Fish and chips. Oh my gosh, she's actually done a group meal as well. Oh, thank you so much because I'm actually starving and I didn't realize I wouldn't be able to order pizza when I got here. So yeah, very cute family moments, especially after looking at that whole family tree. In terms of our uni degree, tomorrow we'll have three days left. We've got our final class on Tuesday. I've got to write an entire term paper, which I definitely forgot about. So we'll work on our term paper next time, but... We've had a breakup, but a happy ending in today's episode. And we're surrounded by little new budding baby berries growing up and spending time with our very confident, look at this, our happy, confident twin brother who has already found his happy ending. Ours, I think, is a few chapters away, but that's fine. I'm excited for her journey. And as much as I've enjoyed living at uni, I'm also kind of very much ready to get out into the real world and maybe rent an apartment in the city. Let me know if you guys see Briar as a city girl as well in the comments below. But for now, I'm going to leave these guys all being, oh, wow, 
Right, thanks, Forrest, for just ending my scene with putting a big door in the way. I'm going to leave these guys all being very adorable together. Let me know what you guys think of Alina and Catalina. Wait, Elena and Catalina. Is that the names? Catalina and Aelin, sorry. Let me know what you guys think of Catalina and Aelin in the comments below. And I will see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.